Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Epirus campaign video in RTR Imperium Surrectum. Last time, we finally took out the Pionians after a crushing defeat against them. We cheesed it a little bit, didn't we? But we are still going to fight these armies, so it's not like... Uh, you know, we've completely tried to avoid them, and we did try and fight them last time, and we saw how that went, guys, didn't we? <laughs> we saw how that went. I'm thinking very strongly of fortifying these two regions in the north, because they are very likely targets for the Tribali and the Scordisci. In fact, I'm thinking of fortifying Dar Danikon Frurion as well. Um, basically giving them stone walls when they get the chance to have them. Uh, just so, yeah, we're getting stone walls in Nysos. So just so that, uh, you know, we're a little bit safer, got a little bit more protection. And if we need to, we can pop an army next to them if they're getting siege down, something like that. Um, I don't like the Scordisci being next to us, uh, especially Celts, because we've seen how strong the Thracians are. The Celts are equally as strong, guys. The Celts have some fantastic, fantastic battle um, prowess. So, very, very good troops they have. What is this mess down here? I'm really, really getting sick of all of these armies just marching through here. Like, what are you doing? Just fuck off, honestly. Like, why are you here? <laughs> like, why are, Why does Athens have a single general just stood here? Why does Ellis have a full army here? Why you could be fighting someone on the mainland, you idiots. Oh, God. And Sparta as well. Like, why does Sparta have an army there? So pointless. So annoying. Uh, but hopefully, once we've taken that, we can pop across, attack them, and maybe do a draw out battle on Aegeon? I mean, I feel like the Achaeans, that's the only settlement they have left. But let's do the Battle of Now Pactos first, um, and then we shall move on to the next one. What do they have? Aetolian Thurio Foroi, normal Thurio Foroi, and some Greek Hoplites as well. We've got some good Athamanians, we've got our own Thurio Foroi, and of course, we've got our legendary commander. Alexander of Epirus. He's 43 now. He's been on command. He's been on campaign in the north for a long time. And this is his first battle down south. So let's see how he fares. So ideally in this battle, we want to make use of our big general's bodyguards as much as possible. I'm hoping these guys will fire. And then we'll halt them. And then they'll fire again. So halt. Halt. Then we'll fire again. They're already shaken, so I wonder whether a charge would be a good one to go for. Hopefully, we just need two rounds. What we'll then do is do this, and they will charge as well. So, there we go. Shaken. General's absolutely just charging, leading the way. So, let's absolutely smash these guys. Shaken already. There we go. We should fully surround them now. Then we're going to send some units down this way, some units down this way, and just do the standard technique. So, they have come out to meet us, so we're going to get our phalanx down. Probably going to try and get this Aphamanians back. You guys phalanx too, you guys phalanx too, and I want you to march through and attack them. Then we're going to get this Aphamanian to get them in the back, if we can do. Uh, there we go. You Aphamanians, get all the way back there. There we go. What? What is that, guys? What is that? <laughs> That's not the formation we're after, my friends. We go, and apparently, what the hell? Oh, that was the Aphamanians from that side. I do not want them to fight like that. <laughs> That's not ideal. <laughs> so, you guys get there, and let's fire in the Thurio Foroi, please. Get rid of them. You guys, you guys are in a prime permission, to, uh, prime permission, prime position to get charged. Let's fire your Javis. You Aphamanians get out. If we can get, like, here to fire at them, that'd be great. Here we go. Attack them. And how are we doing down this side here with our Phalanx versus their Thurio Foroi? Pretty darn well. Keep firing, men. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Indeed. There we go with the General. Not done much, has it? It's not done much. So let's just pop back out. Aphamanians. Get firing as well, my friends. Get firing. And the rest of you guys can just deal with them. There we go. Let's go. If we can fire into them, we should be able to do a lot of damage like we have last time. You guys now fight them. You guys come all the way around. Quick, quick, quick. 
And the Athamanians can kill all the rest of these. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're doing a great job of it, but okay. You guys have still got loads of Javis to fire. Keep it going. There we go. Only four men on that volley, though. That doesn't seem like a lot. How many of you are not firing? I feel like a couple of you are not firing when you should be. There goes the next volley. Nice. It's not killing that many, is it? I thought it would be better, seeing as we've got two silver. There's 17 missile attack that they're tanking there. How good are these Aetolians? They're just a standard hoplite unit. I am surprised by that. Kill these guys. Kill these guys. Go, 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 go. Now we're just going to have to grind them on the town square, it would seem. You guys fire your jabbies for the last time. Come on, guys. Kill them. There's only four of them. Right, let's speed this up. Should be nice and easy. Let's kill these last 13 men. Seven, six. There we go. Let's enjoy ourselves. Have a party in the town square, my friends. There we go. Good. We killed a lot more than we lost there, guys. Fantastic. Alexander showing his worth once again. I think the clever thing here to do is to enslave so that we can actually garrison this place. Fortunately, we can't, though, because of the goddamn... Oh! <laughs> goddamn Spartans just stood there in the way. <sighs> we can't get through this way either. We can go across the river, the bridge, though. The land bridge. Well, it might be worth just leaving Pyros there for now. If we pop there. How upset are they? Incredibly upset. Well, okay. <laughs> what do they have? Arch Temple of Artemis. That's good for uh, missile units. What is the problem here? I'm assuming unrest. 60% unrest. So if we get rid of that, which will take a couple of turns, should be okay. What is AOR here? Literally just Greek Peltas. Well, that's pointless really, isn't it? Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. One of our favorite ones. Let's attack them. Let's attack them. And I don't think the Achaeans... Oh, wait. The Achaeans have Sophis here. But, uh... I mean, I don't really care for these armies. They're not exactly the greatest armies in the world, so do we have any good mercenaries around this way? Some Neocretan archers. I mean, we do need archers in this army, so I'll take that for now. And we might swap out one of these 304 at some point. Let's attack the Achaeans. Who does that break our alliance with, then? Oh, we got Falana growing. Just the Achaean League we're at war with, then. Falana's now grown. Fantastic. We'll do that next turn, if I remember. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna synchronize all the uh, the recruitment around that way, and we're gonna keep on recruiting down here too. And we've got that battle to do. I was just about to end the turn. I was like, I'm sure there's something else to do. Yes, the big battle against the Thracians. So it says that we should win this, but like you've seen, guys, how OP these Thracians can be in their morale damage. Like they are insanely good with their morale damage. So. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, they don't just stand across the other side of the river. But I'm not holding out too much hope, I'm not going to lie. And I feel like Ifestionis might need to go home after this battle. <laughs> but let's find out, guys. What a fantastic battle map. Awesome. That's so good for us. Really, really good. Group, please. Yep, there we go. We're going to have a nice fat formation. We're going to have to tank their shots. I may even skirmish with them for a bit because we do have Neocretans. So we'll get them there. We'll group these boys. We'll group those boys. The Neocretans can just slot in the middle there. Group them too. And then we'll group all the cavalry together. I think we do have cavalry advantage for once against the Thracians. But we've got reinforcements apparently. Let's go up that way. Oh, dear. Didn't mean to do that. I just uh, alt-tabbed onto the Steam page. Let's go about there. And let's not run. Let's just walk, my friends. And we'll get closer to them. So we're just taking a little bit of fire. But we are firing back, of course, against the Slingers. Uh, both of their Slingers. We, I feel like we have the range advantage against them. I don't mind tanking a little bit in the front lines with our our guys. I don't want to have to deal with all of these archers and slingers and everything when we march up to finally attack them. 
Uh, they got the Royal Bodyguards, Peltasts. What else do we have? They've got two units of the Royal Bodyguards, by the way. And one Noble Cavalry, which is a very effective unit, as we've seen. Let's creep a little bit further forward. Don't think we need to uh, worry too much about these units of Slingers anymore. Let's keep coming. Um, and, yeah, I think we should try and force their hand, maybe. Let's see. I mean, we'll keep on coming forward and see whether we can force the Peloponnesian Hoplites into action. Can you guys not fire at those guys? That would be excellent if you could. So, let's see. How are we doing? Firing at these boys. Arrows are coming in now. Obviously, firing into their front is not amazing, but it's going to take out some of their archers too. So, yeah, I think it's a good option. And the Cretans, the Neo-Cretans are an excellent unit. Right then, let's come forward then. I think it's time... Oh, no, not if their no Royal Bodyguards are going to come forward too. Looks like we are firing at them. Nice. They're going to retreat slightly, it looks like. They don't enjoy that. Well, let's, uh, let's come forward then. There we go. Let's get you guys here. You guys here. And the Cretans, let's just bring you to like here. And these guys, what do we want to do? I think we'll go left flank for now and see how they react to that. Because they do have their Thracian Noble Cavalry on that flank. And I do really would like to take those guys out, of course. Uh, it looks like the Peltas are coming forward to have a bit of a party. And it looks like everyone's actually coming forward. So let's uh, keep on coming and try and engage them in the flanks. We'll get those guys around this side. And ready. Ready or not, my friends. Ready or not. Phalanx down. Right at the right moment. Uh, why did you just all run backwards? Put your goddamn phalanx down. <laughs> you guys into there. You guys into there. You guys maybe just protect the flank. You guys get there and we'll charge them. These guys, what the hell? Fight them. You guys get there and we'll fight these Pionians too. You guys can fire at whoever you like. Looks like we've got rid of that noble cavalry quite handily. Here we go. So it just shows you the difference when you've got a much better quality army than what we had before. We'll get you off guard mode. We'll take you off guard mode and give you an attack order. Seems to be the way that we make a lot of damage to these boys rather than just standing there. You guys, there we go. You guys can now get up that way. You guys can fire at them and charge them. Oh, oh what's this? Thracian Peltas. Well, goodbye, Thracian Peltas. I don't think you're worth it anymore. Broken. You three, you need to try and block those guys from escaping. These guys, let's get into that noble cavalry then. And, uh, yeah, we're, oh, we're managing to chase down the Thracian Peltas, which is excellent. They are a very good unit, though, so we do have to be wary. You guys get them. You guys get them. What are you doing, man? That's not the right way. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Got the Peloponnesian hoplites in here. You guys have managed to chase these guys down. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to chase everyone down because they're so close to the edge of the battle map. But uh, you three, let's kill them. Kill them. All we need to do, though, I think, with... I can't remember whether it's right in this... Oh, they're all running. They're pretty much all running. I can't remember whether we do need to fully destroy this army or not. Uh, I don't think we do. I think... Oh God, we can't actually get anyone because they're too close to the battle map. I feel like we can just... I feel like we can just end the battle and we win. Because they're a rebel army. But I'm not 100% certain. Anyway... Now that they're so small, they won't pose a threat ever again. So that's at least a good thing. Let's get off this battle map. It doesn't... We didn't get a pop-up say enemy army route. So they may have just run away. And it did sound like they ran away when it came back onto the map. This army, though, is still very, very healthy. So I wonder whether it's worth going and killing them. That was the cavalry army that absolutely just ended us. Uh, I think it's more important, though, to go and deal with Macedon. So I'll just let this army do what it wants. If it wants to take uh, Idava, I really don't mind. Because then that offers a buffer against the Tribali. At that point, if we lose Idava, these guys, these Tribali do not uh, actually border us, I don't think, at all. I don't think so. That kind of touches the... Oh, no, that's this area. So, yeah, we won't border Tribali, so we won't get attacked by them. So, honestly, I'd prefer them to take Idava. 
Uh, it's not exactly the richest settlement. It's never going to make us... It's making 500 gold for us right now, which is awful. It's got 700 population. So really, really not exactly the best army in the world. So really don't care. Um, yeah, we're taking Igeon. Good. I don't want to deal with this. This is going to be a mess to deal with. But it should be quite fun. Exactly 48,000 we're making right now. That's cool. Um, I do have a diplomat. I haven't really used him many turns. So we were talking to the Romans. But they don't want an alliance. Don't want map information. He's all the way over here. What I think we'll do is talk to Syracuse. Because I think Syracuse has made its way quite far north. They've definitely taken Tarentum. So we could fulfill Pyrrhus' ambition of taking Sicily and southern Rome and southern Italia uh, or Magna Graecia. That would be amazing. So uh, let's see. But let's end the turn, though, guys. So the Aetolians, the si sorry, the Achaeans decided to siege down now Pactos, which actually helped us because uh, we're having some severe rioting in there. <laughs> Got another guy come of age, Altesion. Looks like a decent character, too. Pretty good in the pink. Interested in logistics. Cool. Where are we going to use you as a garrison commander? I don't know. Garrison commander, a governor, would be a better better word for it, wouldn't it? Um, I think Bylazora might be the option here. I think Bylazora, 3,000 gold, which is really good. Where did you pop in? You popped in here. Yeah, I think Bylazora, it's making a lot of money and it's going to be a really important trade and a recruitment hub for us. Now, we can come down all the way down here and take this battle against the Antigonids. So let's do that. Over here, we've got that battle to do too. So we'll have a look at that in a second. We've got another town grow, Stimbara. And we did have somewhere else grow. Where was it? Where was it? It was Falana. Let's make sure we queue those in. Another faction emerges the Lycian League. I've seen the Chrysaurian League has emerged too. Um, and yeah, we've got to make sure though we remember that uh, now Pactos needs rebuilding and retraining as well. Um, so let's go for that. And we have managed to... Oh, we got a shipwright in Tirona now. So that's now making some decent cash. Good. Let's pop the academy in there while we've got a governor there too. And let's queue up some more Thessalian cavalry. So there. And let's go for some more Deuteroy there. And we'll go for retraining and also more Thessalians there. That'd be excellent. And yeah, Dionysus is the temple here. Interesting. Now, we're building that. Any more military buildings we can build in Larissa? We can go for the city barracks. But I'd prefer to get a blacksmith, so let's build the blacksmith in there. Let's also check Ambrakia for any military buildings. I mean, we've got the catapult range, the archery range, but that's not ideal. I mean, I don't think we really need anything from the archery range. Like, what would we get from that? Would we... Yeah, it's just these units. So we just need to make sure, make Ambrakia upgrade. So it's definitely worth getting the grain imports in there now. It only takes one turn to build those two. So that's really going to help. That's half a percent growth. And we can get the next one. And then we can get to large city. And we'll get elephants at some point, my friends, which would be amazing. Let's make sure we are still training over here too. So build that. Then in here, let's keep building Ambrakia. Over here, let's build... We're making Ambrakia, so we'll build some Athamanians next turn. And that is good. How are we doing in terms of our buildings up this way? Which was the other one? Yeah, Scoopy was the other one we were going to make into a thing. It's still got Plague, though. That's the problem. You go and join with them. And you are going to go outside of Pella for now until you get rid of the Plague. I do not want to bring Plague back to Pella. That is not... Not ideal if we bring Plague back to Bella after so much devastation with the Plague in here. It's got 5% growth. Honestly, I'm considering just going down to low. It's not that much money difference. It's about 400 gold. We can afford 400 gold. And that extra 1.5% growth is going to be very helpful for Pella. Because we want to make Pella a really good recruitment hub in the north, like we have said. So, yes. Uh, let's do that. We've got that battle to do. Also got this siege to do. So let's go forward. Let's get this battle underway. And if you are enjoying this series, guys, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Really helps these videos get out to more people. I guarantee these guys are going to withdraw. 
why... Why are they just building slingers up here? That's all they have. Oh dear. Let's go and kill them all. So it looks like they're going to come after us. So we're just going to slowly march our men forward this time. They don't have that many javelin men. That's the good thing. It's mainly all um, missile troops. So let's just march forward nice and slowly. And yeah, try and deal with like, this is just a mess of, uh, of missile troops. There's nothing really very scary there. So let's do that. We're also going to get our guys on the left flank because this is where they're retreating via that road, as you can see with these guys. So we're going to allow that to happen. What are those? Zistaphoroi? Let's uh, fire at the Zistaphoroi. I do not want to have to deal with them too much. These guys should now be able to fire at the Zistaphoroi, which will be good for us. You guys can face them. And uh, the rest of you, let's keep marching forward nice and slowly. There we go. These guys can compact in there and stay nice and compact. That's going to be quite good. What is that? Three men, three Uzonoi. Wow. <laughs> and let's get our men over here just to basically block them off from retreating. You guys keep coming forward. We'll get you there and you guys keep coming. There goes that unit. Let's see if we can engage them. Guys, keep coming forward. The rest of you, let's just keep marching forward. There we go. Here they go for the charge. So what we're going to do is we're going to fully flank them and surround them. You guys need to come forward too. You've used all your ammo. Uh, we're going to keep these guys here. Just come for Actually, no, we're going to come forward with them. And we're just going to get into this mess up here and try and deal with them. One of you get in the sides there. And then you two units, let's come around the back. There they go. They don't like the... Uh... Here we go. This is it. This is what we're doing now. You guys, that's one of the generals, is just that unit. So, kill them. Whatever. Greek slingers, we should absolutely shred these guys. And I want to make sure we chase them all down after every, uh, every time we've killed them. So, chase as many as possible, really. And then we'll just go into the blob. Blobbity blob 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 blob. You guys turn around. Fight them. You guys get in there. They've spread out this unit so much now. You guys fire at them. There we go. One of you go after them. One of you go after them. So you guys go after them too. And these guys can chase after these boys. They're withdrawing now apparently. They're withdrawing. So let's get those Uzonoi too. That's the Prodromoy running away. Oh dear, we're gonna we're gonna miss killing them all. That's a bit annoying, but okay. Uh, not much else we can really do here. You guys go around that way. You guys face them. You guys just chill. Uh, you guys chase these guys down. You guys chase them. You guys are killing them. I don't think we'll reach that unit, but we can try. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. All of these Chalka Speeders are getting a little bit scared. There's the Hoplites going. There's the Hoplites dying. So let's try and kill this Chalka Speeders. Nice victory, my friends. Nice victory. Great gods be praised. The so we kill both the generals. Don't think we reach them, do we? They are right on the edge of the map. There we go. Kill this Chalka Speeder. There's everyone going. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Let's uh, continue. Let's uh, make sure we chase all of these guys down. What are you? You're the general. You're not exactly the best chaser and a downer. Eh? So you guys go there. You guys. Let's get you into them as well. You guys need to just like sort yourselves out. There we go. You guys get them. Now, can you actually kill some of them? That would be good. You guys get them. And then what is that? That's just a single unit. Do you know what? You are fresh. Are they uh, tired? Yeah, they're winded, so we should be faster than them. So we might as well try and chase them down. You guys will fire at them anyway. And that should be a pretty good victory, I'm not going to lie. Let's uh, let's see when we get to the end of the battle. I think that's going to be a pretty darn decent victory, my friends. There we go. Glorious victory. Absolutely fantastic. Let's smash them. Oh, very tasty. Very tasty. Yes. 
Very nice indeed. The Zista 4A doing an absolute number on them there. But a glorious victory, my friends. That's what happens when you bring Slingers to a Phalanx fight. <laughs> there we go. And... I mean, we could go Siege down Amphipolis, which is a large city. I do want to just turn around just so we can take Iamfarina, though, because I don't want to just leave, like, a settlement behind. But we don't have the movement for that. But let's uh, let's make sure that we actually do siege it down. I don't want to waste movement points and, and waste another turn. So we'll pop that in there. Very nice indeed. We've still got a lot of cash. We've done all our training, haven't we? So let's... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go for Igeom. Straight in there. They've got this secondary army that's absolutely ruined uh, to come in. What if I went a night battle? We wouldn't even have to deal with it. I'd rather honestly fight that army. So let's have a look. Where is that army coming in from? Is that that army? That is that army. So that army would get destroyed as well. They're going to come in from the far top left. So we've got to try and cut them off rather quickly. But... Let's try that anyway. Let's try and cut them off and destroy the second army before it can even reach the city. So we're going to set up like this, guys. We're going to send some of these units to try and take the city. Whereas the Phalangites and the Cavalry, they're going to try and cut off the secondary army. We just need to run. We just need to run, basically. I'm hoping that... It, well, if they come in from there, that would be ideal. But I don't actually see them. We should be able to see them... Unless they are just over that dip there, that's that's the problem we have. So let's get our cavalry going too. And while we're waiting, we might as well have a go at them over here. You guys get their Cretans and missile men. Let's just pop them off that. See if we can actually fire over the wall. A lot of the time we can't, so but that's fine. Let's uh, let's go forward. Where is that reinforcing army? Ah, there they are. I knew they were coming in from that side. So let's see what we can do. Let's get our guys there. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage from the towers. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just run my cavalry forward just to make sure that we can actually engage them. Here we go, guys, engaging them. Honestly, I think my cavalry can pretty much run through this army. There's not much here. The only thing that can pose any resistance to them is the hoplites. The rest of it is just pure cavalry. Uh, you know, we can just kill them all, really, like pretty easily. So poor army. They're not going to be sieging down uh, our settlement anymore. Steal with the Zista Foroi. I don't mind if, like, a couple of units escape into the city. Surely we can just kill these guys outright nice and easily. There we go. Kill the rest of the... Kill the other two. There we go. Nice. Now let's kill them. Prodromoi. And they've got another Zista Foroi there. Can we catch those guys? I don't know. I don't know. We don't even need all of this. Jesus Christ. This is like a bit of overkill, really, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Zista 4 are going to get absolutely shredded here. We just need to worry a little bit about the uh, the hoplites, but not much. Let's just get over there. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but I don't mind that at all. Come on, guys. Go. Why are you all tripping over each other? Come on. Get out that way. Just go, guys. Go, please. We don't want to deal with this shit anymore from you. Right, you guys. Get here. Uh, you guys. Phalanx down. Phalanx down. Phalanx down. You units. Let's get up here. Right, now we'll come back. Now we come back and deal with whatever the hell this is. Uh, you guys. Let's get you there. Let's get you there. You can go over there, actually. Go, 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 go. Cavalry. The cavalry will all be tired. How are we doing in terms of the rams and stuff? Doing all right. Wonder you will probably actually be able to fire at them if they're stood up back from the wall like that. Christ. Bad mistake by me. Bad mistake. Come on. All right, you guys get your phalanx on and get charging into them. We will go and destroy the rest of these boys. There we go. Gates are down, my friends. Gates are down. Who is dying here? Oh, they're getting attacked by the uh, the slingers. I was going to say, who is dying that much? Surely not many people. You guys go kill them. And you guys get into them. You guys get into them. You each get a unit to kill. You each get a little unit that you can uh, kill. Apparently, they're still steady. Come on. If you actually charge them, guys, rather than just running around in circles, like you should be able to kill them quite easily. I'm not going to lie. 
There we go. Problem being now that they're routing, we can't actually ch face them back in the city. So, like, we can't actually chase them back into the city, which is a bit of an annoyance, really. Fight that Epilecti. You guys fight them. Fight the Prodromite. There we go. Kill them. And everyone kill everyone else. Should be nice and easy. You guys, I wonder if we... The problem is here. If we get like that. I just want to stay away from the towers. So let's get that. that. There we go. Right then. Let's actually try and take the city, guys. <laughs> Oh, so we got a little bit of a problem, guys. Their cavalry has come down and attacked us around this way. So we may have to use these phalangites again. Poor phalangites ran all the way over there. Hardly fought anyone. And now they're going to have to run all the way through that way. Let's try get right close to the gates with these guys, though. If we can follow these Greek hoplites in, we can actually chase them all the way back to the town square. There's one of their generals. That's the other general dead, which is great. I think we can make it through. I think we can. Yes, there we go. Go through. Go through. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Go. And we'll get these guys in. And in fact, they can get all the way there. There we go. And while we're in here, we might as well chase down the Greek hoplites. There we go. Let's chase them down. That's it. Good. And this cavalry can come in. Now, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess over here. We're going to lose a lot of Thurioforoi in this fight. But uh, the general's nearly dead now. So you guys face the Epilectoid. Oh, it's Epilectoid. That's why it's proving so difficult. Uh, but honestly, there's, there's literally no one left. What have they got left? Just an Achaean Hoplite? Like, that's useless. So let's go. There we go. That's their king as well. Their king. Your king is dead. Ha oh, ha yes. Right, go kill. No, no, no. Why would you do that? Get inside the city, you absolute buffoons. This guy has to go all the way around now, which is kind of funny. Um, and yeah, we've killed the king. So everyone kill them. And I don't think we'll use the hoplites, actually. Uh, we'll probably try and bait them on this side rather than anything else. Right, cavalry. Is that all the cavalry that are coming in? Let's get down there. Go, go, go. Poor hoplites are going to be... Uh, poor phalangites are going to be absolutely knackered here. But uh doesn't matter too much. Get there if you can. I mean, you're probably just going to get there and then be uh, too tired. So let's just go there. And are these guys charging down? They are. All right, let's take out that epilectoy then. Should be nice and easy. I'm thinking if we can get a nice little... Uh, thing like that. We should be able to get a good charge off. You guys, let's get that phalanx down now, and let's engage them. Don't engage them, actually. We'll just hold the line here. Uh, the rest of you, let's go like that, and go like that. Cavalry, let's come around this way and see if we can charge them in the back. That'd be excellent. Where is this other unit of cavalry? There's one. Oh, there's one just chilling. Fine. Don't need them. Right then, guys, back into the back of the uh, of the Achaean Epilectoi, who are shaken right now, not stirred. So there we go, fighting the Achaean Hoplites. These poor guys, they're all knackered now. They've had a long, long way to go, so they're not going to fight very well. But I think we can just overwhelm everyone with the numbers. So let's uh, let's do that. I think we've had some really interesting battles this episode, haven't we? We've had the Thracians, uh, which absolutely got shredded. Uh, we have had this one where we've had to run a long way. We've had some just really, like, not necessarily difficult ones, unlike last episode, but really interesting ones, um, which have been really fun. I've really enjoyed them. They're going to have, like, a single unit of whatever these blobbers are called. Um, guys, guys, why you run? Why you run? Engage me. Engage me, fool! Engage me! Right, uh, we've got these guys. Let's bring them up this way. They're going to have to fire into the enemy. I uh, don't really need them. They're just they're not really that useful. Let's go. Where's a good... I mean, that's the good spot to fire from. But unfortunately... Well, we tried it out last time. And it actually didn't do anything, did it? So we'll actually send these guys back that way. They can have a rest. Once they're here... They can have a rest. <laughs> Get all the way there, my friends. Get all the way there. This cavalry. Do we really need it? 
Probably not. Just go over there. Doesn't really matter. The Aphamanians are done now. They've used all their ammo. So the only thing we really want is the uh, the archers. Which, honestly, where are they? They're there. They probably get a better better view this way. So let's go that way, and I'll uh, I'll see you in a second, guys, when we've baited these guys again. Well, here they come. They've come off the town square because they think it's safe because they've got these three Greek slingers. <laughs> That's excellent for us. So we are just going to make sure that we don't take them out too quickly because otherwise they'll just turn around. We're going to get our exhausted Deuter. Oh, my God. Look how fast they're going. Oh, my God. This doesn't help this mess here, guys. It'd be nice if you actually path properly. Come on. There we go. Look how knackered they are. That's them running. Absolutely knackered. Look at the boys. <laughs> they look like Scrooge trying to find his lamp in the night. Um, but yeah. <laughs> They'll get there eventually, my friends. They'll get there eventually. And then we'll cut them off. Kill these guys. And that's all we need to do. Glorious, glorious, glorious. So now we've fully squished them in. Not the most efficient phalanx you've ever seen in your life, but hopefully we can break them by doing this. Also, guys, can you actually put some pressure on? It's so annoying when they do this, just leave like a massive gap. Like, actually go and chase them down, guys. That's your whole reason for being, my friends. Your raison d'etre. Right, let's get these guys in here and uh, block them off there so they can't spill through again. Did actually find some javelins there, so that's actually quite good. Now we just need to wait three minutes. I do feel bad for these phalangites. They have pretty much ran. <laughs> so they ran from there all the way to here. Didn't fight that much, really. And then have ran all the way around there, all the way through here, fighting the whole way. Fair play to the phalangites. They did, they've done an excellent job in this battle. I'm not going to complain about them anymore. <laughs> well, I can't promise anything. But uh, yeah, glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. And fully destroyed. Hopefully both armies. 49 men is quite a few left. So we might not have destroyed that one. But apart from that, glorious victory. So I think it's best to enslave again here. They've got their level 4 recruitment hub. IGM will actually be a good recruitment hub. If there wasn't so many armies just milling around here. So we're not going to make it into a recruitment hub at the moment. Just because it's too annoying to deal with all of these armies just milling around here. Like, if we recruit stuff, we can't get them anywhere. Because there's just 10 armies just doing nothing over there. Which is really annoying. Um, I wonder whether there's any, like, decent mercenaries available. Let's have a look. Or just shit mercenaries, really. I mean, 3,000 for a garrison troop is quite a lot. I mean, we have the money, though. Like, let's let's spend the money. We do have the money. So, if you go in there, that's only 55%. I mean, I would like these guys to get there. Like, you two. But the Spartan army is just fucking just standing there. Like, what are you doing? Like, literally, and Epirus as well. Like, well, Epirus, sorry. Ellis. What are they doing? Why do they just stand there and do nothing? Like, Jesus Christ. That's 70% now, so that should maybe stop rioting. Uh, we might have to get... Uh, we could leave 35 3040 behind, honestly. If they're happy, though. Which, they're clearly not. Um... Yeah, let's have a look for one more unit, like a 304 oi. There we go. Get you in there. It's expensive garrisons, but we will actually swap them out sometime soon. Now we border the uh, Antigonids again down here, so I'm slightly scared about that. But let's come around. Let's deal with Protopis and deal with the Achaeans. Get rid of them. So none of their stupid armies are just milling around doing nothing. Uh, I have a feeling we are going to get attacked here, but uh, that's okay. Do need to get Pyros out of there, because if you get Siege down by Ellis, for example, he's not in a good position. Um, hopefully Sparta moves left next turn so we can actually move, but uh, I'm not holding my breath for it. <laughs> we're still training there. We, yeah, we're training everywhere, really, aren't we? Uh, fantastic. Yeah, we've done all our training, so got just enough room for a little bit of, little bit of building. 
And yeah, I think. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus here. Keep them happy. Oh, I'd love some population growth in Oricon. But uh, we don't have the money for that right now. Lucas, well, the roads are pointless in Lucas. We don't need them ever. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Ayana. Let's build that academy in Ayana then. So we get a better governor there. Fantastic. You guys are going up here. Are you needed up here? Not really. I'm happy to leave those uh, hoplites as the, uh, the units there. So I think we'll come down this way. You have just sieged that down, haven't you? Well, a glorious... I think we've not even ended the turn yet, have we? Or have we ended it once? I can't remember, but uh, yeah. Glorious couple of turns anyway. So let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see where we get to. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, is the plague has finally ended. <laughs> you can see this guy stood on the watchtower there. He's going to cause devastation in here. But, uh, yeah, 34 devastation. We can live with that. That's not bad at all. We're making out 50,000 a turn now, which is excellent. Got Stoby here. I think those... And the plague. This guy doesn't even have the plague anymore. <gasps> glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's retrain everyone we can. And let's keep going with... More Ambrakiotes, I think, is the one. Or Aphamanians. We've not trained any Aphamanians for this army yet. So let's go with that. Got Ambrakiotes in there, in there. These guys are all on the first turn training too, aren't they? Nothing else around here is a good training hub, is it? No. So, yeah, that's good. The Achaeans, again, rather than defending their land, are just doing that. So let's do this. 114, I can live with that. That's no problem. Alexander is finding victories down here in the south, isn't he? Let's, um... Let's enslave Prosopis. There's the Achaeans go. Hopefully they block the Antigonids there. This land does not actually border the Antigonids, so I'm hoping they won't attack us here. Problem with us now is just it's so hard to get back. I mean, we have to use boats to get back to our, our retraining hub. Um, this is Arcadian. Let's have a look at what AOR we've got available here then. Nothing apart from Greek. Peltas. I would like those Elian Epilectoi as an AOR unit. Because they're a lovely unit. And we don't quite have access to our best units just yet. Um, our Chionian Agima and our Epiropes Hetairoi. And our Elephants, of course. And our Molossian Agima. But they're not even as good as the Thessalians, are they? Let's have a look at the Thessalians. We've got 1714 and a 3044. So, 1714 and a 3044. What are the Molossians? 1815. So, they're better attack and morale. But a... Less defense and one more charge. So they're quite equal, really, I would say. Um, but what do we want to do now with Alexander? That's the question. I mean, I feel like all now that we're actually bordering them here, the Antigonids are just going to send their full might at us. So what I might do is send this army back for retraining. And I know it's relatively healthy, but I want a full healthy army to deal with these armies. Now, in fact... I think we could probably deal with these two and then go back for retraining. I think we've got enough power to do so, especially if we get a couple of mercenaries. Let's have a look at these, though. Aegeon and Sirius. Where's that? Oh, yeah, up here in the north. I forgot about that one. Uh, Pyrrhos has a priest of Abnoba, which is management and two command when ambushing plus one line of sight. Eumenes got Colotes of Olampascus plus two management and 50% decrease to bribe. That's actually fantastic. Thermon got the Epirote recruitment too. So we can actually train all right units in here. Get okay, Aetolian Hoplites now. Aetolian Thurio Foroi. Not the best units really. So, I mean, they do have some decent slingers. Uh, normal Aetolian Peltas too. What does level 3 give AOR wise then? Aetolian Cavalry, which is a quite versatile little cavalry unit, but... We've got Thessalians in the north. We don't need to worry about them at all, really. So, yeah, we'll just go for level three straight away then. Where was the other building of Scoopy? There it was. Scoopy, Scoopy. Let's get that in there. Good. And, yeah, I think we're okay. Pyros, though. I do want Pyros to be part of the army. And he can't move, can he? Fantastic. 
It's what we like to see, guys. <laughs> oh, there's just too many armies around here. It's just pointless. Like, what the hell? No mercenaries available at all. Well, I think one thirty oh four a unit. Not quite enough, really. Hmm. What have they got? Trying to Dionysus. I do like that. So let's go with the sewers, though. Uh, everything's going to take two turns. That's a 10%. So once the unrest has gone down, we should be okay there. And we are training everywhere, aren't we? Yes, we are. Pella? Are we training in Pella? Yes, we are. Athamanians. And up here, we're not training yet. That's first level in there for Stoby. Level 2 is not far off. And Scoopy is on to level 2-2, two, two, which is great. Up here in the north, I do want to make sure I'm always kind of building up this region slightly. I will potentially get that road in there because I want like a straight line of paved roads. don't know why they've gone white. It tends to happen a little bit every now and then. What if I click on them? No. Click on one that's got a sea trade tile? No, they're still not. There, I think these are just normal roads, though. What I want, ideally, is paved roads from here. Basically, from here all the way through here up to there. So, we've got a nice, really quick route. And also, the same thing here from Pharsalos through Larissa and Falana through Dion up to Pella. So, basically, like a, um, a royal road, you could say, from our capital in Ambrakia all the way north up to the Thracian lands. So let's start that off. It's called, we can call it the Royal Road. That's a very uh, appropriate name, I think. We'll also go for paved roads there. There's getting normal roads. These places are building the recruitment hubs. Yep. You're coming this way. Let's ignore that for now. Burger, let's see. Can we build? Let's build a little market in there. Thessalonica's building. How about this one? This is a very rich... Oh, well, it was rich. What's happened? Oh, it's blockaded. Let's get the academy there, though. And anything else we can build? Probably not right now. Probably not. Let's go for the shrine to Aphrodite in there. for the. Oh, no, it's already building. Uh, what am I talking about? Um, and then over here, we are still building more recruitment hubs. Demetrius is getting some roads. Good. I think we just need that road for movement. I think that's going to be really, really powerful going forward. Let's get the shrine to Dioscuri. We don't really need it. Uh, what about here? Shrine to Dionysus in Ambarakia. Is there anything else we would prefer? I mean, the large temple of Dioscuri. So, yeah, we definitely would prefer that. What time are we on? 1.05 in terms of recording. So, we've got a little bit of time left. So, first things first, let's take this settlement off them, because then I want to beat that back. Then go up to Iamforina and take that. So, we've got a secure flank over here. And finally, we might get rid of the Antigonids up here. And then what we'll do is we'll probably retrain this army, then send it north to deal with the Denthalate, and we'll come through Sir Dicka and take Bessapara, and then we might look at taking out the Adrissians, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't think this land is that rich. I mean, they've managed to upgrade it, but when I played the Adrissians, like, this land is so poor, and it's really hard to upgrade, and also it's going to be very slow, but I did say I wasn't too bothered about having some slow gameplay up there in Thrace while we, you know, focus the rest of our armies, especially this army, down south somewhere. I think that's the play, to be honest. I mean, we could even go across the sea, but I want to get all of Greece, take out the uh, take out the Antigonids first. So let's go for this battle. It's pretty much all slingers and stuff again. So again, it should not be too much of a worry. Should we go for a night battle? I don't think you guys like night battles, do you? Because you can't see that much. So yeah, let's let's stay away from a night battle, shall we? Unfortunately, we do have to fight up a hill, guys. So, once again, fighting up a hill. We're going to march forward for now. We don't need the thickest of lines with the Phalangites. The Phalangites are our main military body now in Alexander's army here. We don't have many Thurio Foroi left. So, yeah, and we're going to get our archers up to there. You guys, just, just march, just march. Aphamanians, we're going to bring you up too. And we're just going to march you as well. And the cavalry, you can just chill out behind the archers for now. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Speed it up slightly. 
But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry up here. Just want to keep marching forward and just taking them out one by one. Uh, there we go. So yeah, they, they don't really like that, do they? They don't know what to do right now. So let's go up a bit more. Let's bring you. And uh, the Athamanians will bring you forward too. Cavalry will keep you on the right-hand flank because that's where all their cavalry is. Is this the Foroy General's Bodyguard and two General's Bodyguards, actually? Uh, I, I feel like we can still beat that. We've got much bigger General's Bodyguard in Alexander. And he's got three gold stars. We've got Silver Zista Foroy. So we should be okay. This army's very experienced now, which is absolutely fantastic. Here we come. Oh, dear. That's going to absolutely ruin them. There we go. They're already routing on that side. Let's keep moving forward with the left-hand flank. And uh, you two, let's keep coming forward too. Just you two. Let's keep going there. And these guys, let's get them slightly forward as well. And let's see what we can do with our cavalry. I think we can take out that Zista Foray quite handily. So let's go. The charge on the right flank, led by Alexander once again. Rally the men, my friend. Here they come. They're going for the charge into the Phalangites as well, which is excellent. Guys, what are you doing? Like, why are you not in Phalanx formation again? Uh, right, let's get these guys around. Let's deal with the Thurio Foroi. And I think that's good for the Zista Foroi there. Let's go straight on to Antiochus of Eritrea. Antiochus of non-Atreia, gone Atreia. That sounds a bit... <laughs> a bit wrong. But let's go forward with these guys. And let's see whether we can actually flank them. There we go. They should not really want to do much else. I don't mind if that guy escapes. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if their generals escape. As long as we're just killing their uh, killing their armies, that's all that really matters. So there we go. They should route pretty much straight away, these poor slingers. There we go. Broken. Let's go straight up there. Straight up. Affermanians, let's get you around. Oh, God, fight them. Fight them. God damn it. You fight them. There we go. That's better. Now fight. Come on, guys. Walk forwards. <laughs> Walk forward. There we go. Right. So what we're going to do, we'll send you there, you there, and we'll get these three. They can go and deal with the rest of them. So we've got two beat guys fighting. What is this, guys? That is... It's not the one. What are these Athamanians doing? Fight them. You guys come around here. There we go. I think that's a Zista Fora. You guys should be able to kill them rather easily. Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently you're struggling against them. Oh, here goes the mass routes, my friend. Here goes the mass routes. Athamanians kill them. Is this the Foroi? Nice and easy. You guys just march up this way. We're going to charge into them. And, uh, yeah, kill them. Kill them. And uh, it's just this unit, it seems. So we'll get you there. And all of these units go there. Go there. General, go there. You guys. Oh, what are we fighting now? We're fighting. Oh, the general's bodyguards come back. Let's get him then. Let's get him. Nice. That's fantastic. I wanted him to come back. Uh, you guys, yeah, chase after them. You guys put your phalanx down and attack them. Take you off guard mode. There we go. Deaded. Fantastic. Right. Who do we want to chase down? We want you to go there. We want you to go there, and we want maybe you guys to go there. I think that's the best thing. And yeah, glorious victory, my friends. Nice and easy. The Antigonids not really learnt their lesson, have they? At all. Oh dear, Antigonids. We lost 161, they lost 1,000. Nice and easy. 170 for the general, 176 for those guys. But a glorious victory once again, my friends. So let's... Pop that guy out the way. God damn, Aetolians, man. <laughs> I really want to get Pyrrhus across here as well, but he can't come across. Oh, dear. Ellis has a lot of land, actually. Wow. And the Greek city-states have Argos. Hmm. I mean, we could go and kill them, but I don't think we beat that. So let's do... Let's just do this. This will be nice and quick, guys. So a really quick battle. Uh, they've got Epilectoi, which is a really good unit, but we'll fully surround them and rout them. Hopefully, we shall see.
Here we go, guys. They're on top of a hill. We're going to put our phalanx down in a second. So there we go. Get the phalanx down. And what we're going to do... Oh, no. They're running away, actually. Running away. Fools! Don't run from me. Don't run from me, you fools. We're going to try and get the Athamanians round to flank. So we're going to get them round that way. And we're going to get the Thurioforoi round that side. Everyone, we're going to take a bit of a charge here. But that's fine. Take the charge. These guys can go and deal with that second Epilectoi unit. There we go. Just get there. Just get there, guys. And we're going to get the Athamanians all the way around. What is that unit, by the way? Is that a Prodromoi? Yes, it is. Oh, God. God damn, hate the Prodromoi. <laughs> Not my favorite unit, guys. Not my favorite unit. Fight them, please. Rather than being a fool. Fire at the Prodromoi. That's the one you need. Right, you guys need to get up that way. I don't want you just firing into the front of them. So, yeah. They're shaken already. Wow. We're going to try and block off the Prodromoi so they can't escape. So let's just keep marching that way. There we go. We're going to take a bit of damage from them. Uh, these guys should be firing at them, so it shouldn't be too bad. And uh, we're going to get here. And then they can fire at what they want. Let's march over this way. And then they should be blocked off, hopefully, from escaping. Uh, or at least be uh, a bit messed up with what they do. These guys all doing okay. Good. Just holding the line. That's what they're there for, isn't it? Fire. I mean, I don't mind you firing at the Prodromoi, honestly, because they're such an annoying unit to deal with. It's going to be so hard to chase them down, too. I want you guys to get over that way. Just get that way. Go, go, go. I want you guys to go that way. It looks like they're going this way. So there we go. Let's engage them. Come on. We need to fight them. Go, 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 guys. Go. Go, go, Gadget Zista for Oi! Right. Why are you selected like that? There we go. Now fire into these boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. The Epilecto is a fantastic unit. There goes their Captain General. And we killed, like, most of the Progemoy, actually. So I think you guys go all into there now. We'll rally so you're behind. There we go. That Zista for is uh, That Epilecto has been absolutely ruined by the Javelins. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Come on, Cav. I know you're a little bit tired. Don't worry about these guys. Just don't worry about them. It's fine. We'll deal with them in a second. They're fighting to the death now. That's fine. Glorious victory. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my friends. Nice and easy. There we go. Kill them all. Kill them all. Good. And then that unit should all die. There we go. Glorious victory. Very nice indeed. We still lost 100 men, actually. Wow. Not expecting that. Peltas lost a few. Thurioforoi lost a few. But overall, a glorious victory, my friends. So, guys, I think we're going to end the episode there. We're going to just see what this guy has. Not too much, actually. Chalka Speedes, Thurioforoi. Three generals is a little bit scary. But apart from that, there's not much else other cav apart from the Prodromoi. So that shouldn't be too bad. And look how experienced this army is now. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic, to be honest. An absolutely glorious army. Uh, we need to start getting rid of some of these guys. Oh. Well, yeah, we can't attack them. I, w I want to go in there. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I think we go there and try and get a boat to there. <laughs> that is literally what we have to do at this stage, guys. Because of the amount of mess that's in there. But a glorious episode, nonetheless. We have taken these guys out. We will do this battle next turn. What do they have in there, man? Just really damaged troops from one of the battles that we had. I wonder... Yeah, 54 men is completely acceptable. So we might as well do that right now. Amphipolis, it's a large city. Uh, let's enslave. We'll get a few of the uh, population around so that we can uh, upgrade. So we've got to upgrade Lucas. We've got to remember that one for next time. And let's destroy that building. Uh, this has mines as well. What, silver mines? Oh, that's fantastic. This is going to be a very rich city. I'd love to get a general in there ASAP. But let's uh, repair everything. And let's build... Shrine to Aphrodite again, guys. <laughs> Very nice. And then we're going to go for Amphironia. Amph 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 well, let's do that now before we end the episode. Uh, let's get out of there. Why would you accept that fight? That's very strange. 
Like, you think you're hard enough to deal with us? Why do you think you're hard enough, my friends? That's so dumb. But anyway, we'll deal with that next time, guys. So if you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. I hope you did enjoy this episode. It's going well now, isn't it? It's seeming to... We've kind of got over the hump now, which... Yeah... There's still some issues, but uh, yeah, we've pretty much got over the hump. There's uh, lots of armies everywhere down in the south, so it's a massive mess down here, and I, I don't feel like delving into it, apart from to go for Ellis. Like, this is lovely and clean. Look at this. No armies, and then you go here, and you're like, oh, dear. <laughs> the Boeotian League still exists just in Oreos. Oreos. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always, and I will see you all again on the next video.